Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are in the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year A. As we approach the end of the liturgical year, the mood of the liturgy changes to eschatological dimension, the last things, the end time, about the coming of the Lord, the judgment and the resurrection. All the three readings of today's liturgy speak about this eschatological dimension. The first reading taken from the book of wisdom speaks about the heavenly wisdom which alone can satisfy the human quest and will help us in the final judgment. The life of the Christians will be judged based on whether we searched and found this wisdom or rejected it. Thessalonians were worrying about the death because they thought that the second coming of Christ would be soon and thus they could escape the death. Meanwhile, they were worrying for their relatives who were dying. In this context, in the second reading St. Paul tells them not to worry about the dead because they will also be glorified. In the gospel, we read about the parable of the ten virgins. This parable tells us to be prepared at all times for the coming of the Lord. A wedding was a great occasion in Palestine. The whole village will come out to accompany the couple in the procession to their new home. There were three stages to a Jewish wedding. The first was engagement. It is a formal agreement made by the fathers of the couple. The second was betrothal. This, this is the ceremony where mutual promises are made by the couples. And the third was marriage. In this parable, Jesus speaks about the third stage, the marriage. When the bridegroom came, the bridemaids who were attending the bride went to meet the bridegroom with lamps lighted to bring him and his companions into the house of the marriage. Some of the maids were wise and prepared for the coming of the bridegroom. Some were foolish and unprepared. Jesus is not telling of good and bad. Rather, he tells of wise and unwise, prudent and imprudent, thoughtful and thoughtless. When the bridegroom was delayed, all the ten of the virgins, both the wise and foolish, slept. But the wise ones were prepared to act immediately when they were unexpectedly awakened. On the contrary, the foolish virgins were not prepared. The five foolish virgins appeared to be ready for the bridegroom because they had their lamps in hand, but they really were not ready because they took no oil with them. The wise virgins had an extra supply of oil. At an unexpected hour, the bridegroom came. The wise virgins immediately began to prepare their lamps for lighting. The phrase, they trimmed their lamps, literally means put their torches in order. The foolish virgins were unprepared because they lacked oil for their lamps. They had to go to get the oil. When they returned, it was late. The penalty was severe. They were not allowed to come to the wedding and the door was shut for them. The, vast, the last verse of the parable is the message that Jesus wants us to carry. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. The point of this parable is simple. Be ready. The price for failing to be ready is too high. The parable was directly aimed at the Jews. They were the chosen people. They must have been prepared for the Lord when he came. But they were unprepared. And today it is aimed at us. The parable teaches us the following lessons. First, there are certain things which we cannot obtain at the last minute. We must be prepared well ahead of time. Second, there are certain things in life which we cannot borrow from others. The foolish virgins found it impossible to borrow oil. We cannot borrow faith. We cannot borrow character. 
Certain things we must acquire for ourselves, for we cannot borrow them from others. Preparedness is not transferable. Yes, you have to be prepared. Shockingly, for those who are unprepared, there is no second chance. Third, what made the wise wise? And what made the foolish foolish? The wise gave importance to the important things in life. The foolish did not give importance to the important things in life. Fourth, we should not depend on our achievements and accomplishments of the past. The foolish virgins did have some oil. Yes, they had made some preparation but foolishly trusted in what they had done in the past. And fifth, we are called to be in the state of preparedness continuously. Preparedness and watchfulness must become part of our daily life. Be vigilant always. Be watchful on your health. Be watchful on your business. Be watchful on your marriage. Be watchful on your relationships. Be watchful on your character. Be watchful on your faith. Yes, be vigilant. Dear brothers and sisters, be, be prepared for the worst and be prepared at the earliest. God bless you all. Amen.